Hello Algebra students, one more quick topic to kind of preview things that are coming for us in the next couple of units. We're going to talk about prime factorization, which is something you probably did when you were in elementary school. But this is going to be leading into um, a new topic that we will talk about soon. And if we can look at a number and break it up into all of the prime numbers that multiply to get it. That's going to help us out when we're doing our simplifying radicals unit. So it's going to be making a tree. It almost looks more like the roots of a tree because it's going to be getting bigger as we move down the page. Um, we are going to be finding factors. Remember, factors are numbers that multiply together to give you the number that you have. Um, so we're going to take a number, and I'll give you a really nice, easy example to start with. And I want to start breaking this up into different numbers that multiply to be 20. I would never pick 1 as one of my factors because then I end up with 1 times 20, which didn't do anything. And that was kind of a wasted step. But I could either do 2 times 10 or 4 times 5. And it really doesn't matter which way you start. We're going to get the same answer either way. So if I do start with a 2 and a 10, 2 is actually a prime number. Now remember what a prime number means. Prime numbers can be um, divided by 1 and themselves. The only numbers that multiply, the whole numbers that multiply to be 2 are 1 and 2. And again, splitting up a 2 into a 1 and 2 didn't do anything. Just added a 1 to my list, but it still left me with 2. So that's really done. Sometimes when people are doing this, they'll circle numbers that get to be prime so they know that branch of the tree is done. The 10 could be a 2 times a 5, or a 5 times a 2. 2 is prime. Oh, 5 is also prime because 1 times 5 is 5, and that's it. There's no other whole numbers that multiply together. So this is what our factor trees are going to look like. I would write this as 2 times 2 times 5. Uh, sometimes we do try to kind of clean this up a little bit, and I could write that as 2 squared times 5, but really this is the answer that we're going to be looking for today as we multiply. If someone says, oh, but wait, I really wanted to do 4 times 5. So if I have 20 again, and I start with a 4 times 5. Well, 5 is prime. I could circle that when it's done. The 4, again, I'm not going to do 1 and 1, but I get a 2 and a 2. Oh, that's prime and that's prime. And look at my answer. It's exactly the same. Okay. So it doesn't matter how you start. Nobody has to do these factor trees in exactly the same order, and you can still get the same answers. For 84, you have lots of options. Personally, if I can find something bigger than 2, I'm not going to start with a 2. This is an even number. I know that 2 can go in there. That would be fine. If I can look at this and say, oh, well, I know at least that 4 goes into there, because 4 goes into the 8 twice, that would be no leftovers, and 4 divided by 1 is, okay, so 4 times 21. 4 times 21 is 84. The 4 can be split up into a 2 and a 2. The 21, think about numbers that multiply to be 21. That's going to be a 3 and a 7. Now, honestly, because of how this looks, I have all my numbers in order. I didn't mention this on the last slide. But when you write your final answer, you want to have them all going in order from smallest to biggest, which is what this answer looks like. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. If you would take out your calculator, you just multiply those numbers together. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7, and you would get 84. Now, I didn't end up circling all of these because it just happened to be that everything ended up on the same line being done. You could certainly circle all that up if you want to. Some people might look at this and say, well, wait a minute, what if I did want to use a 2? 2 times 42 would work. Well, that 2 is done. But 42, I could have a 6 times a 7. 7 is done, but the 6 could still be a 2 and a 3. Now, this one didn't all end up on one line. Notice I didn't keep drawing the 2 down each time that I ended up with up here, I just circled it and said that was done. But my list of circled things is still 2 times 2 times 3 times 7, which is exactly what I had in the other one. 
260. Again, I know it's even. I know I could divide by two. It ends with a zero. Let's start by taking out a 10. How about 10 times 26? Now, don't waste time just working on one number. Let's try to get stuff from both of these. 10 could be 2 times 5. You'll notice since I know I want my numbers in order from smallest to biggest, I'm always going to write my 2 before my 5. But if you wrote 5 times 2, who cares? It's fine. But both of them are prime. 26, oh, that is even, but all I can do is 2 times 13, also both prime. So this is done. When I write my answer, I would want it to be 2 times 2 times 5 times 13. Nineteen eighty. Again, this one's pretty big. I know I could divide by 10 because it does end with a zero. However, it ends with an 80. I know I can divide by 20 for sure. If you didn't know that, it's okay. Start with a 10. I can do this tree again if you want me to, or if I decide to, I guess, because you can't really tell me. But 20, 1980, you can absolutely do this on your calculator because I did. 1980 divided by 20 is 99. 20, I would go with a 4 and a 5. Oh, 5 is done. The 4 is going to be a 2 and a 2. Done and done. 99, I'm thinking 9 times 11. That one's prime, and a lot of people want to circle the 9, but it's not done. 9 is not a prime number. It's 3 times 3. So my answer here would be 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. And you can certainly go ahead and multiply that all out and make sure that it works. Um, and again, I could do this problem again with 1980 and start by dividing by 10. It's not going to help a whole lot. In fact, usually if you divide by a smaller number, a lot of times it takes more work to get there. So the 10, we know that's going to be a 2 and a 5. Both prime. Good. 198. Um, since we just did this problem over here, I know that that's 99 times 2. Or you could say, I know it's even, so I could divide by 2, which gives me my 99. 2 is done. I did 9 times 11 because I think that's the more obvious way to do that. But some people might say, oh, 3 goes in there 33 times. 3 is prime. 3 times 11 right here. And there's my primes. So now I get the same thing. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 11. They work exactly the same. So today's worksheet is not very long. Prime factorization, you're making these factor trees, and at the end you're finding all the prime numbers that you multiply to get the number that you started with. The answer key is in Schoology, and then there's going to be a quick formative in Schoology as well. Let me know if you need any help.